subscribers and viewers, it's me there again. Today I'm going to answer one of the most common questions to my videos concerning money and one of the most common requests in the searching systems um, like Google and other. And that is how to make your boyfriend or your man spend money on you. First of all, you should determine what type of man you have chosen because there are men who are eager to spend money on women and who were brought up in such a way that they know that men should spend money on women and that is normal practice. But there are men who are eager to spend money on women and if you have chosen such a man, you will need advice that I'm going to give you. But it's not always so easy to determine the type of man you have chosen. Because if your man doesn't spend money on you, then there may be two reasons. One reason is that he is mean. Um, another reason is that uh, he doesn't have any experience of courting a woman, courting a lady, and pay t paying attention to her. And um, that doesn't depend on uh, his age, because when I met my husband, uh, he was 30, and um, I was likely to suppose that he has some experience of courting women, and he knows how to do it. But when I, when I started to communicate with him, I understood that he is a different type of man, that um, he wasn't uh, spoiled by women's attention and uh, he is not the one who has much practice in that case. Uh, he didn't present flowers uh, too often. I had to tell him that I love flowers and uh, if to be honest I had to tell it, uh, if I remember it right, it was seven times before, before he brought flowers to me. Um, he felt uneasy, a bit uncomfortable presenting flowers, but um, time after time his uh, attitude changed and now he presents flowers to me quite often. Um, and um, there was another case I could uh, consider as showing me that he is um, mean. Um, it was about a present. Once he told me that uh, he is going to make a surprise to me in the evening and uh, he has bought something for me. Uh, as a lady waiting for a date in the evening, I imagine different things and um, we are eager to imagine things that we want to get from our boyfriends and our husbands, but it's not... Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that he has bought uh, exactly the thing that we want. And I, as a young lady, imagined a ring. Oh, well, maybe not golden, but... <laughs> um, I was really surprised when he presented not a ring, not a golden ring, not a silver ring, but it was um, a hair tie. A simple black hair tie and he presented it uh, in such a way as if he was going to present something uh, valuable um, like a jewel. He told me close your eyes, uh, give me a hand and put that hair tie on my wrist. <laughs> um, I could tell by my feelings that it was something wrong, not a ring that I expected. Mm, but maybe it was a bracelet, but when I opened my eyes and realized that it was a hair tie, I was really surprised because when a boyfriend presents a cheap hair tie, thin hair tie, uh, it's not to be called a surprise. But uh, I understood that uh, that was done not to abuse me, not to offend me, but to, I don't know, that was a type of man who didn't know how to court a woman. And I did understand that because he was really perplexed when he saw my expression 
that expression of disappointment on my face and I understood that it was not uh, the thing he wanted. And I explained uh, why it happened, I explained what I could imagine and I explained that a hair tie is not called surprise. Um, I explained it by a practical example. I told him, well, uh, I'm disappointed, yes, but uh, I like the hat I presented, but it's not to be called a surprise. Why? Because imagine that you are coming home uh, from work and I'm calling you and telling you that I'm going to give uh, to make a surprise supper for you. And what are you going to imagine? You are going to imagine something uh, re really um, sophisticated, really tasty. And the, then you come home and you discover a boiled egg on the table. <laughs> and I tell you, well, there is um, a surprise um, supper for you, my dear. And it's in the kitchen. Go there and discover it. And that's the thing you are going to discover, and it's not to be called a surprise. And he understood that he made uh, a wrong thing by that analogy. Uh, what my friend told me, my friend told me, well, quit such a man who doesn't know how to court a lady, or who is going to offend you by such a present. But I understood that it was made, it was done not because he wanted to offend me, but because he, uh, he lacked experience. If your man doesn't spend money on you, determine whether it is due to the lack of experience or due to his meanness. If you have met a mean man who is an eager to spend money on you and that is the only reason he doesn't spend money on you, then the best advice for you is to quit him because it's very difficult to make a mean man generous. But if he lacks experience, be patient. Tell him what you like, tell him what you would expect, but uh, don't tell it like an order. I want you do this. I want you uh, to buy something for me, to buy this, 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 and this. That's the wrong way. Uh, there is another wrong way, opposite to this one, is to tell a man that you don't need anything. I don't need your money, I don't uh, need you to spend money on me, I don't need your presence. That's another wrong way, because the man, what a man learns from his first days with you is that you don't need anything. You should tell a man that you need something, but don't demand. Don't make a man spend money on you. Just tell him that you would like him to do something. Don't do it in an imperative way and don't pretend that you don't need anything. Two wrong, wrong ways. The right way is somewhere in the middle. Uh, well, it all should be done step by step. Don't be dis disappointed if your man doesn't start to spend money on you uh, from your first request. For example, uh, you've told him you like flowers and he doesn't bring flowers to the next date and you quit him. That's a mistake. Many women do, but don't do that. Be patient. Uh, give him time. And uh, there is another thing you should make him understand. Men are eager to spend money on women whom they don't see by their sides till the end of their lives. Why should he spend money on a woman he won't see tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? If you have chosen a man, be 
are patient with him. Stay with him. And uh, don't, don't disappoint him. Make him understand that you are the one for him if you understand that he is the one for you. And if he understands that you are a part of his life, till the end of his life, he will spend money on you because he spends money on his life. That's the third thing you should do. And the fourth thing you should do is to spend money on him as much as you can. For example, every man, every person has uh, some dreams, some wishes from his childhood that hasn't been fulfilled yet. Chose such wishes. Uh, don't consider them from your point of view, but consider them from his point of view. If he thinks that it is important, that will make him happy, if you buy him a toy, for example, then buy him that toy. Make a person happy. Money is in this world to make people happy. Just having money won't make you happy. So don't judge. Make him happy. And the fifth step is to show him that you are used uh, to the fact that people who are around you spend money on you. That would be nice if he visits a shop with your parents, for example, or with your friend who will buy a thing for you. Just something to make you happy, just some small thing, maybe a bracelet, um, not a very expensive one, whatever it may be. But he should see that people spend money on you, that you are used to that thing, whether it is your brother, your sister, or your parents, or, or whomever it may be. I think you understood me. And uh, when he spends money on you, that's the sixth, sixth uh, step, sixth point, uh, make him see that you are happy. Don't, don't hinder yourself from showing your emotions. If you are happy when he brings you flowers, don't make a lady of yourself saying, thank you. If you are happy, make him see that you are happy. And to the, to the end of this video, I'm going to boast a little bit and to show you a present of my husband to my coming birthday and to rejoice you by the fact that you will see me better in the nearest future because he has presented me a camera <laughs> and i was really happy when i saw it and it's not simply a camera it's not simply a cannon but it is a white cannon and I'm going to show you it. It's wonderful. And I liked it very much. And I showed my husband every inch of happiness I had when I discovered this cannon in the box. Here it is. Isn't it nice? Time after time, your husband or your boyfriend or your man will learn your tastes and he will try to buy presents according to your tastes. My husband knows that I like fair things, light colors, and even a camera was chosen according to that principle. And I cherish that and I appreciate that. I like it very much. And apart from that, I have a wonderful microphone, so even the sound will be better with this microphone. I think it is Swedish or something. It's not made in China. Uh, it's of good quality, I hope. And the last thing that will 
make my work easier is a tripod. Um, I think that camera, that wonderful Canon, white Canon, deserves a tripod to make my work easier and better and more pleasant to you. So I hope you will see me next time on that camera and I hope you liked the video I have made for you and I hope you liked the advice I gave you. Hopefully it will be very useful to you and will help you. If you did like that video, then subscribe to my channel. See you next time on a new camera. Goodbye, yours wisely.